Just like the street lights lit this town Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out We got this far, don't know how Hello YouTube, it's your girl Kimberly. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. This video is going to be a real hair update. So if you wanna know more, keep watching. Thank you so much for coming to the channel. Please subscribe. We are so excited that you came to watch this video, but we need you to subscribe, subscribe, okay? Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We want you here all the time. Not just once in a while or sometimes or when the algorithm feels like we should speak. Like, we can speak all the time. Hit the subscribe button. Okay, then um, notification bell so you'll be first to know when I post a video or go live. And then if you like this video, like the video. Um, I do a lot of hair product videos where I don't really talk about doing my hair or what's going on with my hair that much. Um, but we're going to do it in this video. So, um, to fast forward to where we last probably left off with the discussion about my real hair was, um, me being, stretching my relaxer for 22, 23 weeks during the pandemic. So that was rough. <laughs> but, um, after that I was able to kind of get back into the swing of things. Unfortunately, due to a series, due to a series of unfortunate circumstances, some of my hair was not processed the same, under processed, because I was going to touch ups with braid outs. And because of the braid outs leaving a less clear demarcation of what was new growth and what was already relaxed. And because of that, my hair was then growing out further and I had freshly relaxed like roots freshly relaxed ends and then different sections of the mid shaft that were either under processed or not processed at all so um i explained that to my hairdresser was kind of walking her through it showing her the sections and she basically was just like okay well we can rectify it go back through i see the areas where it's like this boom let's do it then as she started seeing more and more and more sections, it's basically just like, okay, so we're going to do the whole relaxer over. <laughs> and um, basically treat it like it's version because there's so many mid shaft areas that are unprocessed, under processed. It's a lot. So of course, I was super scared. But then I was like, let's see what happens. So uh, I was very much under the expectation that, you know, I could potentially have to like chop mad of my hair off. So thankfully I got this little lob cut, which I'm liking. Um, it's easy to manage. I can still put my hair in a ponytail and it looks good and um, healthy. Uh, no damage or anything like that. Uh, which I'm really excited about um, and right now in terms of I cannot do the wrapping of the hair me and hair wrapping just don't go together like that so I do flexi rods um, and I'm going to not wear my U-part wigs for two weeks so at this point of the filming of this video it's been the first week so next week um, I also will not wear my wigs yet and then um, get my hair just time to relax from being freshly processed um, I will say that I did, um, as I get older, I know there's going to be a point where, you know, I might not be able to relax my hair forever because, um, there are like negative health associations with relaxers and stuff like that. So, um, I do try to make sure I manage my health in a way to make sure that the things that can be negative reactions, I'm going to medical professionals to check on and review and make sure I don't have. Um, but I do know that, especially for women in my family who had relaxers at a certain time, at a certain age, it's like, okay, I got to go natural now because my hair is thinning, my hair is changing, um, in order to keep a head, a head of full healthy hair, um, I have to give up the relaxers. So, um, but when I see all the videos of people transitioning, it is so much work 
and I'm not teen big chop like because even even if I do get a teeny weeny afro like how am I gonna wear because I would want to wear lace wigs like so I don't know how I would navigate that um because I love changing up my style of braids wigs um real hair in a bun it's a curly like I love the versatility in my hair and I think that I don't want to do any style where I would lose that option to versatility so that's why I would probably be more towards a transitioning situation as compared to a big chop because um well I mean you have to do the big chop anyway when you transition but I wouldn't do a big chop into a teeny weeny afro because I have to make sure that I can at least be able to have that versatility still to switch it up um and not just be pigeonholed to a few kind of styles um because at this point whether it's um i mean and you could always get hair extensions that match all textures so that's not so much an issue like it used to be but um it is really ease for life because going to the gym and just being able to just pull it all in a ponytail um is really really convenient and really easy so i do want to keep it easy <laughs> no matter what i do but um i do like it um it took a little getting used to it at first at first it, when i didn't put no flexi rods in it was just bone straight it was just and i was like ooh, i freaky i mean i know you're supposed to be straight but you straight straight so um but that's also because for the longest time i had pieces that were unprocessed or under processed that were still giving like body body and me not even realizing it that that's not what my hair is supposed to be looking like when it's relaxed so um but that is my hair update um i'll continue to if anything drastically changes let you guys know but um that's where we are now it's fun and flirty and i'm liking it so uh that's it so thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video and i'll see you next time bye just like the street lights lit this time like a fire